Today, I'm going to share to you what I did on my first week here in Canada. Aside from getting your own place, you need to scout, right? So I've shared how I looked for my own place. I went to Kijiji. Go to my Moving to Toronto video and you will see how I search for my own place here in Canada. So let's just get that out of the way. Let's say you have already a place to stay here in Canada. What did I do on my first week? I arrived on a weekday, so the next day I went ahead and got my SIN. SIN stands for Social Insurance Number. If you are a Filipino, it's like your SSS number and a whole lot more because everything's tied up to it. Get your SIN. So where do I get it? You go to Service Canada. Google where's the nearest Service Canada and go and get your SIN. What documents do you need to bring? Your landing papers and your ID. So I presented my passport. Number two and number three. Why together? Because you get these documents in the same office. So number two and number three is your health card and number three is your government ID. That is not the SIN. So the health card and this government ID, it can be a photo card or a driver's license. So any of those two, okay? So for the photo card or the driver's license and your health card, you get it in one office, which for Toronto, we call it Service Ontario. If you got your SIN with Service Canada, you get your photo card or your driver's license plus your health card in service Ontario so there's always a counterpart for it for every province so just check your province okay now number four go to a local bank and open a checking savings and if they can give you a credit card definitely I went first to service Canada and then I went to Service Ontario. And then my last stop for that day, I went to a local bank. Usually local banks, they provide support to migrants. They give you the checking account, savings account, and a credit card. The credit limit might be a small amount, but that's good enough. It helps you start to build your credit score. Credit score will be another whole topic here, but yes, so that's your number four. Open a savings account, open a checking account, and try to get a credit card. Okay, number five, familiarize yourself with your location. Know where your nearest post office is. Know where your nearest grocery is. Know where your nearest mall is. Know where your nearest pharmacy is. Usually the pharmacy will have the, the post office also, but check. Be familiar with your location. Next, go to a local employment center. I went to a local YMCA. I enlisted myself as a member and there, I got to use their computers to update my resume. I got to print resumes. I got a consultation with their staff on how to answer interview questions, how to format your resume. So all these were free. I'm saying employment centers and not employment agencies. Employment centers help migrants to prepare themselves 
while looking for jobs. So they were very good enough. Here's an example of what they did to me. I went there almost every day, printed a resume, and I got this interview schedule for that retail job that was offered to me. And I told the staff that I was scheduled for an interview on this day. And she said, I'll schedule you with a social worker who will help you with answering interview questions. So I went to that staff member. She interviewed me and she gave me constructive criticisms. She told me that your weaknesses when you give them to your interviewer always end like it being a strength. So I told her one of my weakness was being passionate. I give too much of myself to my work. Sometimes it burns me out. But since I'm very passionate, I give my very best. So you see how you turn your weakness into a strength. Get it? That was one of the tips that she gave me. And it really would help you. You know why? Because sometimes you come from a country where you've been working for like what 10 years and you've forgot what interview was like and you forgot how looking for a job was like so this is like a refresher which is really very good there's a lot of employment centers here in canada that can help you and i'm just giving you one and that's the ymca i love my ymca anyway that's a Nonsense. And lastly, what I did was I listened to the news every day. Aside from knowing the weather, you get updates of what's happening around you. You get the way how people talk. And you pick up conversational pieces. Like the weather, sports, sports is big here. When people talk about hockey, when people talk about the game, at least you're not looking dumbfounded like you can you can converse, right? Because you know already what they're talking about. You have at least an idea of what happened. Like did we lose? Did we win? What's the weather going to be on the weekend? So you have conversational pieces. So yeah, I listen to the news almost every day. While cooking breakfast, I listen to the news. So those are my helpful tips. I hope you learn from it. For example, I really don't know if it's called Service Quebec or Service uh, British Columbia, but 